Kissing bugs are slowly marching their way across the USA. Kissing bugs carry a parasite that causes Chagas disease, which can lead to serious heart and stomach problems. So are we in for a summer invasion of these blood-sucking insects that are far from romantic? Well, kissing bugs are nothing new. 28 states have reported them. The bugs are also typically found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. It's not the bug itself that causes the disease, but a parasite it may carry. About 300,000 people with Chagas disease live in the U.S., but most were infected in parts of Latin America, where the disease is most common. The likelihood of getting the infection in the United States is low, even if the bug is infected. So how do kissing bugs get their name? Kissing bugs don't actually kiss. They got their nickname because they tend to bite people around the mouth or another part of the face. They are nocturnal, and your face is often the only body part exposed during sleep. They are attracted to the carbon dioxide we all breathe out, and they are looking for blood as their meal. But it's not the bite itself that transmits the parasite. Here's the super disgusting part. The bug bites and then defecates. The parasite is in the feces. If the feces from an infected insect gets into the wound, that is when an infection occurs. Transmission usually happens when a person accidentally rubs the poop into the bite wound or into a mucous membrane, such as the eye or the mouth. Identifying the bugs isn't simple, since there are a lot of lookalikes. Most species in the U.S. are mainly black or very dark brown. They have red, orange, or yellow stripes around their edges, thin antennae, and legs and a cone-shaped head. Complicating the issue, most people don't report feeling a bite. Kissing bugs hang out indoors or out, preferring cracks and holes in older housing. Outdoors, they live beneath porches, in brush piles, or in rodent nests, outdoor dog houses, or chicken coops. So what can you do if you get bitten? Well, not everyone has symptoms. Some people have an allergic reaction to the saliva of the bug, such as itching, swelling, hives, and severe redness. There may be swelling if the parasite gets into the body through the skin or mucous membranes. Or it could cause swelling around the eye. The infection eventually gets to the bloodstream, and it can affect the cells of the heart and digestive tract. About one-third of people infected go on to the chronic form of the disease. Complications of chronic Chagas disease may include heart rhythm problems that can cause sudden death, an enlarged heart that doesn't pump blood well, and an enlarged esophagus or colon that can cause problems with eating or passing stool. If you're worried about being infected, you should first talk to your physician. A doctor can request blood tests to see if antibodies to the parasite are present. If infected, you may see an infectious disease specialist or a heart doctor for treatment with antiparasitic drugs. The bugs can also bite dogs, and they can get the same heart issues as people, but in a shorter timeline. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 15 fun facts about dolphins. Thanks for watching and bye for now.